Good evening guys and welcome back to my channel. So tonight I have a huge Sephora and Bath and Body Works haul to share with you. So I have some perfumes, I have some skincare, I have candles, and a couple of other little odds and ends that are floating around and I'm very excited to share everything with you. And also if you haven't already subscribed, definitely do head on down and consider hitting that big red button because on this channel we talk about all things fragrance. We also do a little bit of home decor, a little bit of minimalism, and just other little luxurious girly odds and ends. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then definitely subscribe and without further ado let's get started okay so before we begin guys I just want to let you know that we are working with artificial light tonight because it's quite dark these hours here in Canada so we're working with what we have um, and I also wanted to give you just a quick view of a few things in my room um, this blanket I also just recently picked up when I was in the city it's a gorgeous soft pinky almost like with a purple hue super soft plush throw blanket and it almost has like a rose detail I don't know if you can see it but it looks like there's roses in it and this I just got from Winners Marshalls Home Sense uh, one of the three and I think I only paid $25 for it but if you guys are interested in some sort of a similar blanket I will try to find one and link it down below it's just the perfect addition to my room I will take pictures in better lighting but it's just the most beautiful kind of like plush blanket to go with my decor and I absolutely love it. In the far corner of my bedroom I have my shelf which I have pulled out of my closet and I have some of my perfumes displayed there and if you guys would like I will do a updated complete perfume collection let me know if that's something you would like. Um, usually I keep them all stored in my closet but I pulled them out because I wanted to enjoy them and I just it stays pretty dark in here and it stays pretty cool in here most of the time, especially this time of year. So I felt it was pretty safe to pull them out and enjoy them. These are my new adorable slippers that I got from also from Winners. And if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen a picture of me wearing these. They are the most cute, adorable, um, comfortable pom-pom slippers in the world. I think I paid $20 for them. Um, I will try to find something similar and link them down below if you'd like as well. I usually don't wear slippers, I usually wear socks, as you can see, but sometimes it gets really cold and we just had like the most crazy snowfall ever. So sometimes there is a place, a time and a place for slippers as well. And this is my dresser setup. Please excuse that photo there. That's actually my vision board. I just have it turned around because I like to keep my vision board um, private and to myself, but my vision board is actually very beautiful. It has a lot of pictures of like, um, the house I want to live in one day and um, just things that inspire me in quotes and it's actually a very very pretty vision board and I would share it except I'm a very private person so I do like to keep that part to myself trust that it does look really cute normally this is how the dresser looks right now so obviously in this bag here I have a whole bunch of goodies from both Sephora and Bath and Body Works and nothing else has really changed about my dresser except I also found this really gorgeous little box which is also from Winners or Home Sense. This is just a super cute little container, gold and crystal container, and it just opens up like so. And I just thought it was so pretty and I had to have it for my dresser. So this was only $12 from Winners or Home Sense as well. And again, if you're looking for something similar, I will try to find something like that and link it down below. But if you live near a Winners or a Marshalls or Home Sense or Home Goods, definitely head on down there because I think you could probably still find this there if you like. So basically what I'm gonna do you guys is just pull items out of here randomly. I have some skincare items, I have some perfumes, I have one hair care item, and I also have two large candles which are over there. And yeah, let's just get started. Okay you guys, so this is a um, body cream from Bath & Body Works, obviously, and it is called Sweet Whiskey. Tell me if you guys have smelt this down below. I wanted this in a body spray. Normally I'm not even a body spray person. This smells incredible, you guys. Um, um, so it says it has notes of golden amber, vanilla infused liqueur, and sweet red berries. And that doesn't sound like much, but for me, what I get, you guys, this is almost like a woody, almost like an oud sort of a scent. It doesn't smell like oud, but it almost has like a bit of that um, Middle Eastern vibe, kind of a perfume smell. I'm actually going to just see if I can smell it again. I don't know, you guys. It just smells amazing. It smells like sweet and woody and amber and deep and just absolutely delicious and it definitely doesn't smell like anything else that I've smelt from Bath and Body Works before. It's very unique. So yeah, I highly recommend Sweet Whiskey if you like those kind of like ambery, woody, deep 
um, vanillic sort of scents, sort of like Shoggoth Oud, like along that line, but not that it smells like that, but it's kind of along that line and it's just absolutely delicious. The next one is another body lotion and this is the Shea and Vitamin E body lotion from Bath and Body Works and this is the Sm Snowflakes and Cashmere. So I've heard a few people talk about this one already. Um, I believe it was Gabrielle Francesca was talking about this one and I've also had a couple of subscribers mention this one as well. So this is just a beautiful, soft, um, very like sophisticated. It's not very strong. Um, I did also get this in the body spray because it's just a beautiful, soft, inoffensive scent. This is the type of thing you could even wear to work if you worked in a place where you're not really supposed to have um, fragrances or like you don't want anyone to think you're actually wearing perfume but you still want to smell really good and really pretty. This is just really really beautiful and I also find that a lot of Bath and Body Works fragrances can give me a bit of a headache sometimes. Sometimes they can be too strong. This one is very soft, but it's also very pretty. And this has notes of vanilla cashmere cream, caramel woods, and frosted clementine. So the clementine for me is very understated. It doesn't smell like um, really fruity or anything. I mostly just get that like warm cashmere vanilla with like a subtle hint of caramel or like woody notes. Um, it's just absolutely beautiful, you guys. Very classy, very pretty. Um, this would make a great Christmas present. Yeah, it's just really, really nice. So I definitely do recommend this one. The hype with this one is real. So as mentioned, I did also get it in the Fragrance Mist and I'm just gonna give the lid a smell here. So I just sprayed it in the lid. It's so nice, you guys. It's so, so nice. Mm, it's so nice. <laughs> it's just a very like um, soft, feminine, pretty, cashmere vanilla kind of a scent. So I also picked up two other body sprays mostly because it was a sale and it was buy three get two free. These were kind of impulsive actually. I don't really wear body sprays like I said so I really don't know like if I would wear these um, but the first one that I thought smelled really good was the frosted coconut snowball and this is really nice. Um, I think I'll actually give this one to my daughter or maybe my mom for Christmas because I really don't think I'm gonna wear it, but it is a really nice scent. It's just a very like creamy coconut, very pretty, very feminine. It has um, frosted coconut, North Pole vanilla, it says, as well as winter freesia. So it's just a really beautiful like but very sweet and very like Bath and Body Works-esque sort of a smell. Nothing like what I would normally choose for a scent, but it is nice and it's something you could throw on like if you had a gym bag um, or just keep it in your car. This one here is Pink Velvet Cupcake and I don't normally go for these kind of scents like the Pink Chiffon Sugar or whatever it's called. I don't usually go for those ones because they are very sweet and they do smell very young to me and they also smell very like Bath and Body Works-esque. Like I say, they don't smell sophisticated they don't smell high-end or expensive or anything like that, but they do smell good, so you can't really fault them. This one here has notes of sparkling red berries, whipped, whipped pink marshmallow, and sugared praline. So it really does smell like a pink cupcake of sorts. Yeah, it really, it really is very sweet. It reminds me of something like Victoria's Secret a little bit. It's very like sweet, flirtatious, girly, kind of sexy, I guess, in a sense. It's the type of scent that guys like on girls, you know, it's that kind of like very young, sweet scent, but still smells like a body spray. This is the type of thing I would keep in my gym bag and just quickly spritz it on before leaving the change room. That's kind of what I would use it for. So yeah, I do kind of like this one. I might keep this one for myself, maybe for the gym or something, we'll see. And this one for sure, I think I'm gonna gift. The next thing you guys is from Sephora, and this is a little bit random, but these are silk covered um, scrunchies. So I don't know if you guys have seen the Invisibobbles. Up until recent months, I have sworn by the Invisibobbles, but what I've noticed is that because the Invisibobbles are plastic, um, sometimes I will still get a little bit of a snag in my hair, and I recently had a really bad experience at a salon where they, um, colored my hair way too dark and I had to have color corrections and all of this stuff. Long story short, I'm trying to baby my hair right now to get it to its healthiest state. So I'll just show you what these look like. So this is what they look like. They're very cute, you guys, and the inside I think is just like basic, a basic hair elastic, and they have them in lots of different colors. They're not very expensive either. I will link them down below if you're looking for something really good for your hair. Um, so they're just like a little silk covered scrunchie, and they actually hold. Like I wasn't expecting these to have a very good hold. That's the other thing I don't like about the Invisibobble 
bubbles is eventually throughout the day the invisible bubbles do stretch out and then unless you get them exposed to heat they don't hold your hair very well anymore these hold your hair all day long all night long because they are just a normal like elastic on the inside and then they're just covered with this super soft silk um, so they don't tug on your hair they don't cause breakage they don't leave creases in your hair and yeah I'm just really really happy to have these so yeah I will link these down below they were kind of a random purchase um, but I am trying to baby my hair right now and get it back to a really healthy state so next you guys I have some perfumes which is obviously my favorite thing and probably everybody else's favorite thing <laughs> to hear about and some of these were blind buys and some of them were um, ones I had already smelt before so let's go through them and I'll just tell you what I ended up with and what my thoughts are on these fragrances um, so let's start off with this one from Killian and this is the princess by Killian this was not a blind purchase I actually had a little teeny tiny sample of this and I loved it I've been kind of for a while wanting to get a full bottle um, but at the Sephora that I went to they didn't have a full-size bottle all they had was this 7.5 ml spray even for being a 7.5 ml this was very expensive it was $40 Canadian and I felt that was a little bit pricey, especially considering you can get a full bottle for like a hundred, I think a 30 ml bottle for a hundred. So I did find this to be quite pricey, but I really, really wanted it. So I got it. And you guys, this is a beautiful scent. I will put the notes on the screen, but essentially this is a very sweet, um, gourmand, sexy marshmallow scent. And I have to tell you guys, I'm not really impressed with the performance of this. Let me know if you feel the same way, but especially for the price and especially for Killian, I really expected this to be a lot better performing. I actually wore this the other night with my partner for like a cozy Netflix and chill sort of a night. And I was really disappointed because partway through our Netflix and chill, I actually got up to refresh this and I didn't feel like it was projecting and I ended up putting another perfume on on top of it. So, and that doesn't happen very often for me like usually my perfumes last to the point that I don't feel like I need to go back and top them up I'm kind of happy that I don't have a full bottle because to me like especially if you're gonna pay that price I want it to be strong performing this is a really good scent though I can't fault I can't fault the scent at all it smells so good such a delicious sweet intoxicating marshmallow scent but yeah, the performance just isn't there. I don't know, like you can see how much I sprayed my first night. I went through well over 10% of this little bottle my first night. So that is not very promising, but that is Princess by Killian. I will use up this whole thing, of course. I'll spray the whole thing in its entirety over the next little bit and see if I change my mind at all. Um, okay, so next let's talk about this one that I also got from Sephora, and this is a 10 mil travel size of um, Vanilla Woods from The Seven Virtues. So this one, if you guys aren't aware, is supposed to be um, more of an eco-friendly perfume alternative, and I haven't smelled any of the other Seven Virtues scents, but I had heard really, really good things about this one, and then I looked up the notes and I was pretty much sold. So they didn't have a large bottle, all they had was this little 10 mil roller ball. Again, it's a roller ball. I hate roller balls. I much prefer a spray, but they are supposed to be organic, fair trade vanilla essential oils from Madagascar. There's also woody notes in here. There's caramel. I'm not sure what else is all in here, but you guys, this smells so, so similar to Michael Kors Midnight Shimmer. They're totally along the same vein. If you have smelt um, Michael Kors Midnight Shimmer and if you like it, you would like this one and vice versa. The only thing I will say is that Michael Kors is definitely stronger and bolder. So I don't think I'll get a full bottle of this one, even though it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful because my Michael Kors is like a monster. It lasts all day. It projects really well. It's a compliment getter, but they smell pretty much exactly the same. It's a very, um, like cozy, warm, ambery, white woods, vanilla scent with a hint of caramel. It is absolutely beautiful. So the next one is actually an Eau de Parfum from Bath and Body Works, which I never ever buy. And I was tempted to just get the body spray, but again, I'm not a big body spray fan. So this one, I've also had a lot of requests to talk about this one. This is Into the Night, and I think this is a new one from Bath and Body Works. I don't know if they've had this previous seasons. Um, so I did get the little seven mil um, travel spray and this was pretty reasonably priced as well. I think it was only 13 or $14. Really awesome for what you get. So this is a really sparkling, kind of a nighttime. I feel like this would be a great fragrance to wear to a party. Like I picture when I smell this and when I look at the bottle, I picture holiday party. Like doesn't it look 
glistening. It looks like something you're gonna wear with a dress. And this smells like berries, and I think there's amber, and I think there's vanilla in this. But this is essentially um, just kind of a sweet, sexy, little bit of a deeper sort of a scent. It doesn't really smell like Bath and Body Works to me. I'm just gonna take the lid off again. So I just sprayed the lid here, and yeah, I mean, it does have, it has a more elevated scent to it compared to some of the other Bath and Body Works. Like I can get a little bit of the cheapness. I don't want to say cheapness, but I can get a little bit of that sense that, you know, like Bath and Body Works slash, slash Victoria's Secret sort of a vibe. But overall, I think this is a really nice scent. I think it's very pretty. I think most people would like it. They do have a larger bottle Eau de Parfum. They have the body wash, the whole body care line. They've got the lotions. And I really like this. So I just got the little one because I thought, you know what, if I wear the whole thing and if I like it, I can always get more. And the last ones that I have for the minis, and then I have some big perfumes to share with you, are a couple from Jo Malone. So I don't live near a Neiman Marcus, which is such a shame, I know. I don't live anywhere near a place where they have big bottles of Jo Malone for me to go smell all of them. I would love to go back and do that. They had these ones at Sephora in like a mini travel duo. So I picked them up. This was totally blind. Um, it's been a long time since I've smelled them. So I have a little tiny one of the wood sage and sea salt. And I also have a little tiny one of the peony and blush suede. So these are two pretty popular Jo Malone fragrances. And um, I have to say, I'm really happy. Like I've been tempted to blind purchase big bottles of these because so many people swear by them, particularly these two. These are hot sellers. And I'm really glad that I didn't do that because I think I would have blind purchased the peony and blush suede just based on the note profile. But it, as it turns out, this one is not my favorite. I much prefer the sea salt, um, the wood sage and sea salt. So the peony and blush suede is, it's really pretty. It's feminine, it's soft, it's refined, it's elegant, it's daytime, it's light, it's airy. It smells like peonies and yeah, just like a pink, like if you can imagine a pink sort of a, just a really soft, pretty suede, I guess. I'm not doing a very good job of articulating because I'm pretty much just saying the notes, but it's nice, but I don't think it's, I don't think it's for me. Like it's beautiful, but I think it's almost a little too soft. I think this would be a great work scent, even for myself working in healthcare. I think this is the type of perfume I could get away with on the job and people might not necessarily think I'm wearing a perfume. They might just think I smell really nice, um, which is kind of uh, a desirable thing. Sometimes you just want to smell nice. The Wood Sage and Sea Salt is a really beautiful, um, kind of a salty, woody um, fragrance. This is a beautiful, kind of an earthy, um, again, very light, fresh, airy, clean, refined, sophisticated scent. Nothing like wow, nothing big. It's not a big perfume. Um, it's just a really pretty, subtle, soft, kind of an earthy scent. And I do really, really like this. I don't, again, I don't know if it's me, like I don't know how often I would wear it, but it's really nice. And I do see why people like it. Would I buy a full bottle? Probably not. Not at this point. I have too many perfumes, um, but they're both really pretty scents and I will wear them both and see what I think in the future. So the next one is a large bottle and this is Versace Versense. I hope I'm saying that properly. Um, this one I actually smelt in a shopper's drug mart over the weekend and I liked it a lot at first sniff. Um, on the paper at first sniff, this really reminds me of Chanel Chanteau except without that sort of classic Chanel DNA. This one is really nice. It's got quite a few um, kind of similar notes. It's got some citruses. I think there is lemon and I think there's bergamot in here. There might even be lime. Like this really takes it into the citrusy direction. It's a very fresh, clean, citrusy scent with I think a little bit of florals that don't really come through a whole lot, a little bit of musk and like a little bit of an oak mossy or sort of of a woody um, undertone, but primarily this is citrus. This is like fresh, clean citrus. I have to be honest, you guys, um, after getting it home and spraying it on myself and wearing it on myself throughout the day, I did not care for this as much as I did in the store. So I liked it a lot more in the store than I do at home. Um, it's a beautiful perfume, and if I didn't already have Chanteau Fraiche, I think this would be worth keeping, but because I have Chanteau Fraiche, and that's one of my favorite, favorite scents, and it's Chanel, and it's got that gorgeous Chanel um, vibe, where this one um, is just a very like typical, basic 
fresh scent. Um, so this is really nice, you guys, but I probably will end up selling this. Obviously, I can't return it because I've opened it. It's too similar to Chanteau Fraiche, but not quite as good as Chanteau Fraiche. So that is a Versace Versense. Okay, you guys, and I'm so happy to tell you I finally have Chloe Nomad or Nomad, however you want to say it, in my collection, you guys. This was one that had to grow on me. I did not like this at first sniff. When I first smelt this in the store on paper quite a few months ago, I did not care for it. And tell me if you guys have had this experience, but sometimes on paper in the store, it doesn't smell very good. And then you get it at home in a sample, you try it on yourself and it smells completely different, like totally different. And that's what happened with this one. I. I'm obsessed with this scent now. I love it so much. This is kind of like Alien, where the first time I smelt it, I was like, nope, not having it. <laughs> and then a little while later, after trying it on myself, I fall head over heels. So, you guys, I have told you before that this kind of has a bit of a barbershop shaving cream vibe, and it does in the best way possible. So this smells citrusy, it smells subtly sweet, it smells a little bit creamy, a little bit woody. So this has notes of mirable. It also has bergamot, lemon, and orange, and you really get that bergamot and that lemon. It's a very citrusy scent. It has freesia, peach, jasmine, and rose in the middle. But I definitely do get a little hint of a white floral like just a subtle hint of a white floral and then it has a lot of beautiful oak moss it's got a little bit of amberwood it's got musk sandalwood and patchouli i don't get a lot of patchouli with this you guys what i mostly get is like a citrusy slightly fruity oak mossy scent it is a little bit masculine it's just got that perfect that perfect touch of like masculinity to it that perfect and I hate to use the word shaving cream, but it's true. Like it reminds me of a really nice like barbershop vibe. It's so good, you guys. And on skin, oh my God. Like, and this lasts forever. This lasts for hours and hours on me. It smells clean. It smells sophisticated. It smells fresh. I don't know. It's just beautiful, you guys. I won't call this sexy. I don't know if this goes down the sexy path or not, um, but this would be great for the summertime. And again, on paper, I don't care for it. But at the bottle, you guys, Oh my God, this smells so good, so good, you guys. This honestly reminds me of something, it reminds me of something my boyfriend would use to shave in the morning or freshen himself up. Like it has a, oh, it has this gorgeous masculinity about it. I can't even put my finger on it. It's just, it's that combination of that woody, earthy oak moss and the fruity notes and the citrus and the musk and the florals. It is just stunning, you guys. Like absolutely stunning. So out of all the Chloe fragrances, this one and the Chloe Absolute are my two favorite. That's all I have to say about Chloe. I could ramble on forever. So that is Chloe Nomad or Nomad. So happy to have it. And you guys, I finally got my hands on Alien Essence Absolute from Thierry Mugler. So obviously this is not a reformulation because it was discontinued. This is the original Alien Essence Absolute. And I do have to give a huge, huge thank you and a huge shout out to Joss Jane because it was her who did this announcement on Instagram that this was available again online and had I not seen that I never would have got my hands on this beauty so thank you so much Joss unfortunately it did come in just a refill bottle so it was not a sprayer bottle so it came in um, the little refillable container like this by the way it is since sold out again because I was gonna get a backup I should have just bought two of them on the same day I don't know what I was thinking but it is sold out again maybe it'll come back at some point who knows you guys, this is so beautiful. So first things first, it came in a box like this and it also came with a little um, funnel so that had you had a real um, alien bottle, you could just like refill your bottle or decant it into whatever other bottle that you wanted. And I chose to decant mine into this little really inexpensive, I think $6 bottle that I got from Amazon. And this is just a vintage-y looking um, perfume bottle. And this is what I chose to put it in. This is essentially, the original alien, the original alien DNA, but this has a lot of vanilla in it and it also has cashmere. Even if you didn't like the original alien, you might like this one. And I love this, you guys. I love alien, I love the original, but this one, if alien is like your bold boss woman, power woman, femme fatale maybe scent, this one would be like your more sensual, sweet, cuddly version of that. It's not as bold, it's not as in your face, it's not as potentially offensive, like it could be offensive. This is not at all to me. This is 
oh my god you guys it's so 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 good i'm so upset that this is discontinued and i can see why so many people raved about it this is totally worth the hype in my opinion and if you have it you know this doesn't have a huge scent bubble i think that the original alien had a bigger scent bubble but this does last for a really long time on my clothing this lasted all day on the skin it doesn't project huge it does become a little bit more of a skin scent after a few hours i would say after about four to five hours it's a little bit more of a skin scent but it's such a pleasant um cozy warm cashmere version of alien at first sniff like when i smell the bottle i get alien for sure but there's also this underpinning of like a warm cashmere sweater just drenched in vanilla it's cozy and it's warm and it's soft and feminine and sexy this would be such an amazing signature scent it's so unique it's so unique it i have nothing else like this in my collection i would really like to find a dupe like some fragrance out there that smells similar to this one i don't know what else to say about it it's just amazing um, it would be a great signature scent but this is one that I can see myself going through very, very quickly and I'm gonna have to just really try not to spray it that much. And yeah, I don't know what to say about this. I wish I could link it for you guys. Actually, I will link it for you. I'll link exactly where I got it from because you never know they might get it back again. And I didn't even pay that much for it, you guys. Ugh, I'm just like, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. So that is it for my haul, you guys. I hope that you really enjoyed seeing some of these items. Please let me know down below if you have any comments, questions, um, anything else that you'd like to see. And also, if you haven't already, definitely head on over and follow me on Instagram where I share a lot of other little tidbits of my life that you're not going to see here on YouTube. And I will see you guys all very soon. Bye for now.